Hey guys, it's Lee with Mantis Mechanics and today I'm going to show you how to do one of the most dangerous takedowns in all of martial arts in a safe way. Okay, so what is one of the most dangerous throws in all of martial arts? It's the scissor leg takedown. In fact, there's a guy named Steven Kesting, who's pretty popular here on YouTube. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guy, and he says that it's the most dangerous throw in all of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And I agree that it is very dangerous because I actually broke somebody's leg with this throw. Not meaning to, it was an accident, but it happened. And this student was actually better than me. He actually knew how to fall, uh, knew how to throw, was a lot better than me in all aspects. And I got lucky and nailed him with this, this takedown uh, and broke his leg. Heard him go down, heard it snap, knew it broke immediately. Okay, there are other throws which have the potential for more dramatic injury or traumatic injury. Like a hip throw, if you don't throw somebody who doesn't know how to fall, you throw them with a hip throw and they're going head over heels and they land on their head, they break their neck and get paralyzed that's probably a more dangerous throw. However, when you're learning this throw, okay, usually you know how to fall before you learn that hip throw, right? That's probably not gonna be day one throw when you come into any class. I'm not gonna show you that throw without knowing that you know how to roll and do some basic falling techniques, okay? If they are teaching that on a first day basis, it's probably an irresponsible school who doesn't care about you, okay? so. I no longer do this throw in the sparring because of that incident. I don't want to hurt people in the sparring. Sparring is a learning experience. It's not about hurting people. If you go into a ring or a street fight, then it might be about hurting people and, and you know causing injury. But um, even then, probably not. Um, but you definitely want to be able to practice this technique because it is effective in a safe way. You don't want to say, oh, it's too dangerous to practice and then say, oh, it's too deadly or too dangerous, so we don't even practice it. No, you need to practice it because it is effective. The way I do this is usually with student to student, we go very slow, right? So we practice this very slow and controlled when we do it. But I've come up with another way so that I can still practice full power, full speed without hurting myself or without hurting a training partner. And I'd like to show you that right now. All right, guys. So here I have a Muay Thai bag hanging up. The Muay Thai bag is very easy because it's long and it's low to the ground and it's hanging so I don't have to keep on picking it up. You can easily do this with a boxing bag. You just can't have it hanging because it's going to be too high off the ground. And you'll see in a second why that's not going to be good. Uh, but you can take the boxing bag off the chain right and just put it on the ground and do this and I'll demonstrate that at the end of this video after I show this. So with the scissor leg takedown I want to make sure that I come in close to the bag. I don't want to do it where my foot's way out here. I want to get my hip right into the bag. Okay and I'm going to do that. Okay I'm going to step forward with this leg. This back leg is going to come behind Okay, so without the bag there, so you can see, my leg comes behind, so my legs are crossing here. Okay, so when I'm here, if I'm too far out, I want to take a bigger step in. If I'm right in close, probably in this range within striking, so I can set this up with strikes. I step in, my right foot steps in, and my hip is right up against that bag. From here, okay, in the beginning, because you don't have a partner here, you're going to place your hand down. As you place your hand down, you might even have to, for beginners, might have to even put both hands down, okay? So it doesn't matter if you need to put two hands down, you can progress from putting one hand or two hands down to one hand down to being able to just jump into this. But what you're going to do, if let's say you have to put both hands down, it, you're gonna bring this leg up, my right leg's still on the ground, and then I'm gonna swing over and just fall down. And I want to, when I fall down, I want to roll my hips. So if I was doing this without the bag, steady that for a second. If I was doing this without the bag, my hip 
would turn over, right? You can't see that on the bag, but that's really important. So my legs are doing a scissoring, right? But they're not just going up and down like this. They're turning over as they do that. And what that does is it creates some tension on the bag so I don't just fall to the ground, okay? That's gonna keep me from just falling to the ground, okay? So one more time. I'm gonna step in, leg goes behind. I wanna get my hip close to the bag, maybe even touching the bag, right? So if I come in here, bumping the bag, easier to do it when it's fast. If I'm slow, it bounces the bag away. So it comes in here, then I can put my hand down, swing my leg, and perform the scissor leg, okay? I know it may look very easy, and it is, but you can go as hard as you want on the bag, and I'm gonna show you a couple of those uh, a little more aggressive than this way, but showing it slow so you can get it, right? You wanna be able to get this takedown. So you can practice this very slow. The advantage here is no matter what, I can't break the bag's leg, right? Now, I wanna make sure that I know how to fall and that I do this on a padded ground, right? This is a sacrifice throw. And what that means is, even whether I get it or not, I'm going to the ground, so I'm sacrificing myself. Um, so sometimes I'll call it a suicide throw, whatever you wanna call it, but sacrifice throw, I come in, if I get it, we both go to the ground. I don't get it, I still end up on the ground, okay? So when you're implementing this, remember that either way you're ending up on the ground, okay? So if you're not practicing some, some sort of grappling, you don't have any ground game, probably, and you're going up against somebody who knows, who is very good at the ground game, you probably don't want to do this on them, right? So, again, one more time. Step in, behind, touching the bag, getting close to the bag, and then left leg comes up, and the leg, left leg goes down. Make sure to hold yourself, okay? If you have any questions, put them down below. I'm gonna show you how to do this on a boxing bag, and a little bit more aggressively on the tie bag. And subscribe for more, guys. Keep practicing. Until next time.